Hi everybody. Good morning Lucy. Good morning Barack. Good morning Ribbon Graham. Good morning Aoife. Good morning Abby. Good morning Ben. Good morning Kaya. Good morning Faye. Good morning Harper. Good morning Riley. Good morning Brona. Good morning Elena. Good morning Chris. Good morning Isabella. Good morning Joshua. Good morning Oscar and good morning Ribbon Murphy. So we have just heard a lovely story by a lady called Emily called Dr. Pig. So what did you think about the story? Did you enjoy it? So I really, really enjoyed it. And I know that you were really good at answering all the wonderful questions at the end with the other boys and girls in the room. So usually when we have a story, we have a book of the month. And our book of the month for February is Dr. Pig. Because doctors are one of the people who help us. Isn't that right? They help us when we're sick or if we fall and hurt our knees, or we just have a little pearly tummy. So, and Dr. Pig did lots of wonderful things going around the farm um, and helping to make the animals feel better. So, usually when we l listen to the story, afterwards we would always do a lovely picture to go up on the wall in our hallway. Isn't that right, boys and girls? So I thought it would be really, really fun if we could do a picture of Dr. Pig himself. Now this is one that Julianne has done already. Now I know yours is going to be far better than mine because I'm not very good at drawing, am I? No. So, but I know these are all wonderful. So, for parents, while the children are um, painting their picture, this is a really, really good opportunity for you to talk with the children about the world around us, right, about people who help us, about the animals uh, that they've seen within the story sounds that the animals make, the colours of the animals, and how each animal is different. While the kids are answering these questions and doing the picture, you will see that they will be practising their fine motor skills, and they'll be enhancing their imagination, and they'll become more aware of their colour recognition. And all these little important stages are a great way for them to prepare to go into primary one. The pictures don't have to be perfect. Their imagination and them putting pencil to paper or pen to paper or paints to paper is the most important thing in this whole activity. And encourage them to talk about what the animal that they're drawing um, is missing. What do they need? So they'll need their two ears, they'll need their two eyes. Talk to your um, child about everything that maybe was in the book and maybe some of the equipment that the doctor ha Dr. Pig had within the story and what, what, how the equipment is used for to help the animals. And it'll all tie in with our theme. Most importantly, have fun. Allow the children um, to have lots of fun doing this, to use their imagination, to enhance their creativity skills. It really is, they really will surprise you at some of the things that they imagine when they're, when they're bringing their pictures to life. And even let them talk ahead and maybe develop the story. It's a great extension on their um, arts development and their imagination. So have really good fun, boys and girls. We'll really enjoy looking at the pictures, sending them in to us, uh, because it puts big smiles on all our faces when we see you working hard at home. So stay safe, wash your hands lots and lots, and make sure that you're being very good for mummies and daddies. So we'll talk to you soon. Bye.